According to Emmanuel Fabian in the Times of Israel, Israel is discreetly discussing the sale of its battle-proven Merkava tanks to not just one, but two undisclosed countries, one of which is located in Europe, can we assume it is Ukraine? This potential export of the formidable armored vehicles marks a historic milestone for Israel, as it has never before allowed the transfer of such weaponry to foreign nations. Yoya Koulis, the head of Israel's International Defense Cooperation Directorate, revealed this jaw-dropping revelation to the Calculist Financial paper. Koulis emphasized the urgency driving these negotiations, stating that numerous European countries are scrambling to rapidly replenish their military arsenal, particularly after generously supplying Ukraine with billions of dollars worth of weapons to combat Russia's invasive incursions. We are currently engaged in advanced discussions with two potential buyers for the Merkava tanks, Koulis stated, respecting the secrecy surrounding the identities of the interested parties. However, he did disclose that one of them is located within the European continent. The tanks up for consideration in these sales are primarily the earlier models, including the Merkava Mk. 2 and some Merkava Mk. 3 variants, which were introduced in the 1990s. Israel's Armored Corps had already phased out most of these older models, replacing them with the more advanced Merkava Mk. 4. The Merkava series serves as the backbone of the Israel Defense Forces Armored Corps, Development of the tank began in 1970, with the original Merkava Mk. I entering official service in 1979. Currently, the Merkava Mk V stands as the cutting-edge version of this formidable war machine. As the world anxiously awaits further details, the revelation of Israel's secret discussions to export used Merkava tanks raises numerous questions about the geopolitical implications and potential consequences of such a groundbreaking deal. The tank was developed in the Merkava and Armored Combat Vehicles Division of the Israeli Ministry of Defense, and most of its parts are manufactured in Israel. The Merkava was designed to provide maximum protection for its crew, and therefore its front armor was fortified and the engine placed in the front part of the tank, unlike most other tanks. Design criteria include rapid repair of battle damage, survivability, cost-effectiveness, and off-road performance. Following the model of contemporary self-propelled howitzers, the turret assembly is located closer to the rear than in most main battle tanks. With the engine in front, this layout is intended to grant additional protection against a frontal attack, so as to absorb some of the force of incoming shells, especially for the personnel in the main hull, such as the driver. This design also enables the crew to safely escape the tank by the rear when hit by an anti-tank projectile or after driving on a mine. It also creates more space in the rear of the tank that allows increased storage capacity, and a rear entrance to the main crew compartment allowing easy access under enemy fire. This allows the tank to be used as a platform for medical disembarkation, a forward command and control station, and an infantry fighting vehicle. The rear entrance's clamshell-style doors provide overhead protection when off and onloading cargo and personnel.